Hey y'all, welcome to Humming Catfish. Today we're gonna be cold leaching acorns. So get washed up, grab your nuts, and let's go. I'm starting today with acorns that have already been cleaned, dried, cracked, peeled, and put in water. My other video that I'm gonna link here has the process of sorting them, washing them, and getting them dried out and cracking them. But we're gonna start with these already ready. Acorns have tannins in them, which makes them bitter and inedible. And in the cold leaching process, you're removing the tannins from it, but you're retaining the starch so that you can use these in baking and uh, thickening, like in gravies and stuff like that. So with the cold water processing, first thing we're gonna do is put these into a blender and blitz them. I have my acorns drained here, and what I'm gonna do is a one to three mixture where for every one cup of acorns, I'm gonna do three cups of water in the blender. So I have two cups of acorns, and I'll do six cups of water. All right, so I have the acorns in the blender with the water, and I am going to turn this on and just give her hell. The finer you grind it, the quicker the tannins are gonna leach from it because you have more surface area to work with. So now that we have our acorn milkshake, I'm gonna pour this into the container and keep going in batches. Okay, you can see how these settle with the, the acorn meal and then the tannin water. So at least once a day, you're gonna wanna pour this off, replace it with fresh water, give it a shake, and then put it back in the fridge. You're gonna wanna repeat this process at least once a day. Sometimes it only takes a couple days, other times it'll take more than a week. Just keep testing your acorns every day, see if there's still any bitterness, and keep doing it until there's no more bitterness left. You'll know if it's bitter. <laughs> so here's a jar that I have been uh, pouring the water off and replacing it, giving a good shake every day for about a week now. I'm going to pour the water off of this and put it into a strainer and then y'all can see. So I have my strainer in the sink. I'm just going to put a towel in here. All right, now we have our acorn meal. I am going to spread this on some dehydrator trays. From what I've read, 150 degrees seems to be the point at which you do not want to go over uh, because it will ruin the starch which oh, you can still use the flour after that, but you'll need to add a binder. I have some that I had dehydrated last night. You can see here. I am going to run that through a grinder to make it into a finer flour. Here is the cold leached acorn flour. You can keep running it through your, your little food mill if you want it finer, but this texture right here is perfect for what I'm planning. Speaking of which, let's get cooking.
I think you're really gonna like these. You don't have to add the cornmeal if you don't want to. I just think it goes really good with the nuttiness of the acorn flour. That's all I got for y'all this week. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch this. And if you like what I'm doing, I sure would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel and hit the like button. So until next time, I'll see y'all later.